you can see here this battery have alarm and we have to troubleshoot it this have alarm led on with buzzer beep so this is one of the pylon tech battery rechargeable lithium ion battery us 2000 model its capacity is 2.4 kilowatt hours and operating voltage 48 so its complete view is like this one uh, you will see here and this is one of the inside view of this one after opening its casing you can see inside two pcb card and three battery pack so we will see how to troubleshoot this alarm if there is alarm led on with buzzer beep what can be the solution for that one as this battery is not working alone it's always connected with inverter and this is one of the inverter display that you can show here here it will show us alarm here what is the alarm bp bp mean battery disconnected now inverter is giving us alarm that battery is disconnected it can be by either way means if communication wire is removed then there will be alarm also if battery is not responding then there will be alarm also first we will see if there is any wire removed power cables are okay everything okay then we will go to next battery why battery is not responding so this is one of the pv panel symbolical representation that's connected inverter here should be battery but battery is missing because it's disconnected we have here two batteries connected two batteries connected in parallel i will try to switch them on you will see their behavior LED is getting on even alarm LED is off so here we have two types of the scenarios either if all LEDs are off what can be the solution if LEDs are on but alarm LED is on with buzzer beep then what can be the solution if all LEDs are on but still inverter is not charging them because they are not communicating with inverter this is one of the communication cable with inverter so inverter is thinking their battery is not connected so it will not give charging supply it means there will be no charging from inverter and battery is like that we have to charge it with with one of the external power supply you can see here you can ask is one of the lab power supply also it is control voltage it is the same battery that's before leds were off but after giving supply from this one charger it's getting on for this charger i will make a separate video you can check that one in detail it have control voltage it's now injecting one amperes and 49 40 volt so one of this solution we will go to next now second solution second solution this is one of the this second battery you can see here when i will try it try to make it on when I try to make it on, it's giving us alarm. Alarm with buzzer beep. So you can observe here, there is alarm LED on with buzzer beep. So what we can do, we will see what solution for this one. Let's move to next. Uh, just I turn upside down of the battery because we have to remove casing that is on the downside so after removing casing you can see inside of the battery it 
two cards here one and this one and three battery pack inside this is one of the card and this is the power cable coming from battery positive terminal and this is the one of the uh, this one negative is going to next battery then positive of the next going to third battery means three battery packs are connected in parallel and three sorry each have 16 volts so total 48 volt output of this last one is coming here as a negative it's here it's connected on pcb board i will show you here just wait this negative is connected here on pcb board here output from pcb board is coming from here and going here as a negative terminal it should be here then output should be from this quad and it's connected here uh, so what we will do here because our battery have alarm so we will see what can be the solution now you see i start charging and it's going smoothly if you can see here i have injected 50 volt and two apps it's working normal we injected from this quad positive and negative from here and you can see battery is charging it's the same battery what i did i replaced this card you can see part number of this card and this is one of the card that i replaced and now battery is working okay if you have no option for spare card you can check with electronic shops for repairing even but in second case you have to replace this card if there is buzzer alarm led so finally it's getting charged and everything is okay you can see here uh, l status charging also on everything is normal you have to replace just this card because it's one of the communication card and it have it is faulty and you need to be replaced this is part number if you want to order if you want to repair this card you can check with electronic shop and uh, maybe you will get it repaired so last i will show only small overview for this power supply what is this it can be operated on 2 volt either 230 volt either on 110 volt uh, it has selection for this volt input and its output is for 60 volt and 5 amps i will make a separate detailed video for this one how to check and how to see it's okay or not uh, anyway for this one you can see dc power supply made in china it's lab power supply also uh, how to connect it uh, this is one of the positive terminal one is the negative so we will connect here positive and negative we will connect here and everything will be fine if you have any questions any diffuse any confusion you can ask and comment hope so we will go together and everything will be fine okay goodbye